we're going to start things off here uh, with Miss Chase Bergendahl. Uh, and Chase is career now at 193. Oh, I stopped my share. Uh, she's created about $193,000 in sales. Uh, her biggest push is $24,000 over a two week push period. Yeah, it's making 12 grand uh, in two weeks. But the most important thing, the best part about that is she's a world traveler. And she's someone who gets the most out of life and someone who designs her life uh, and doesn't make a living. She chooses to design her life. And when I asked her about something that'd be a keynote, a high mark of her talk, she said, here's a quote I want you to put up on the screen, Anthony. Forget the nine to five, be the CEO of your life. So to talk to you guys about how to create a plan how to execute on that plan and how to undergo the emotional challenges that you're going to face, the mental challenges you're going to face. Should you commit for 17 days, we're going to bring up Ms. Chase Bergendahl. So if someone go and spotlight her video for me, that would be fantastic. I'm going to stop my share. And uh, whenever she is spotlighted, there we go. The floor is yours. All right. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Awesomeness. Thank you, Hayes, for that introduction. It was all lies. Don't listen. No. Thank you, Hayes. Pleasure. It's nice to see all these familiar faces. Edson, you shaved your face. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Chase. I'm here to talk to you about how to create a master game plan for your SE2 push. So we're going to talk about how to create your game plan for push, how to maximize your schedule for push, and how to stay committed to the game through mindset mastery. I'm just going to dive straight into it. Just as a disclaimer, I'm going to make you write some things down. I'm even going to make you do math. <laughs> so get your pen out, get your paper out, and we're going to get to work. So game plan. Number one. Number one is knowing your why. Why do you want to win? Why do you want to have a big push? I want you to take one minute. You're going to jot down all the reasons why you want to have a killer push for SC2. In big, bold letters, write the word why. Maybe you want to pay for college. Maybe you want to save up for a big trip. Shoot, I've been to eight countries. Travel the world just on Cutco money. Like, this is a real thing. Uh, maybe you want to have your first comma check. That's a check with a comma in the middle. Maybe you want to help out your family. Maybe you want to grow as a person. Maybe you just want to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Get better at handling objections. I don't care what your whys are. Just make sure you have a long list of whys. Keep writing. I see people writing to people that are using their pens. You're already a step ahead of everyone else. Awesome. Know your why. Let everyone finish up. All right, Mackenzie, look at you. I love it. <laughs> All right, number two, have a goal. <laughs> Crazy, I know, have a goal for push. But what I mean by that is have a specific number in mind. I remember saying to myself like, oh, I'll, I'll sell 2K, no 5K, no I'll do 10K. I just, I wasn't convinced of what my number would be. So don't just pick a random number. Don't just say I wanna sell a lot. Don't just say I'm gonna do what my friend is doing. Pick a goal that is attainable for you, but also makes you a little uncomfortable because getting uncomfortable equals growth. And if you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. Number three, do the math. It's all a numbers game. It's a law of averages. If you make X amount of calls, you will set X amount of appointments. If you complete X amount of appointments, you will make X amount of money. Um, so the end game obviously is reach this big goal, win a push trophy, save a certain amount of money. But if you just focus on this big giant number like 10K, 15K, 20K, that sounds, that sounds scary. I remember the first time I shot for a 10K push, all I thought about was that huge number and it just seemed impossible to me. The only people that hit it were those big league, big league CSPs or students that have no life and they just eat and sleep cutco. And guess what? When I had my push, I only sold like five, six K because I failed to break down that goal. I focused too much on that big, scary number. So what I'm going to teach you is how you can break down your goal. So it's tangible and it's easy to execute. So who likes math? Are there any math people out there? All right, see this Lawrence, cool. I don't like math. <laughs> so if I can do this, you guys can too. So write this down as we're legit gonna do some math. Um, goal divided by, I think it's a little divided symbol, divided by average order, divided by closing ratio equals number of appointments you need to book for your push. So first, find out what your average order is. If you go on Vector Connect and you click on View Sales, it'll show you oh, what yeah. your average order in comparison to the office, the division, the region, the nation. I remember this Sorry, that's my little brother. He has special needs. He's great though. <laughs> All right, go on Vector Connect um, and you can find out what your average order is. So in my case, 
my average order is 415. So that would be your first variable. Uh, now the next thing to figure out is your closing percentage. Um, you can figure this out, you can kind of guesstimate it. Do you close seven out of 10 appointments? That's 70%. Do you close eight out of 10 appointments? That's 80%. Um, personally, I have about an 80, 90% closing percentage. So now that we have our variables, you can do the math. So say my goal is 10K, okay? You divide that by my average order, which is 415. That equals 24 appointments. Now, if you divide 24 appointments by, by, by my 90% closing ratio, that's 26.7, so basically 27 appointments. So 27 appointments divided by the 17 days of push equals 1.5 appointments. That's like two appointments a day. Anyone could do two appointments a day. So telling yourself that you only need to do two or three appointments a day, that 10K doesn't sound as scary. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, one minute to plug in your own numbers. So figure out if you don't know your exact average order, just guesstimate, um, but maybe your average order is $100 right now. That's totally fine. Just divide your goal by your average order, divide that by your closing ratio, and you'll get an idea of how many appointments you need to reach that goal. So all of you guys, I should see you writing down um, those numbers. You can find your average order on Vector Connect when you click on View Sales. Um, if you can't figure it out right now, no worries, just ask your manager and they'll be able to help you to find that number. Um, for now, just pick a random number so that you can um, plug in those numbers. So uh, once again, divide your goal by your average order and divide that by your closing ratio. That's the amount of appointments you need. Uh, to explain closing ratio, um, I just guesstimated it. So imagine yourself doing 10 appointments. Say you closed seven of those and you had three no sales. That means you had a 70% closing rate. So it's not foolproof, um, but it's, it's a good guesstimate of what your um, closing ratio is, okay? So once again, if you still need help figuring out these numbers, just ask your manager, he's a pro or she's a pro and she'll be able to help you out with that. So um, number one most important thing though is stick to that number. Whatever number you have figured out, just tell yourself, I just need to see 30 people. I just need to see 40 people. I just need to see 45 people. Do the work and the results will follow. All right, cool. So we figured out our why, what our goal is. We run the numbers. Don't you feel like a CEO right now, by the way? Doesn't it feel like a boss to just to be in charge, to just like know exactly what you're gonna do with your business plan? It's pretty cool, it's a cool feeling. So how can we maximize our schedule and make the most of the 40, 40, 408 hours of push? So number one, for scheduling, clear your schedule. Take care of all the small things now before push. Spend time with your family now, finish those little projects now, eliminate any potential time wasters during push. Pro tip, delete Instagram off your phone, or at least just don't check it until 8 p.m. It's 17 days, you will survive. Number two, plan everything. Every single hour should be planned during push. Know exactly when your phone times are, know when your demo slots are, based on the numbers that you calculated earlier. Number three is make Cucko your priority for the next 17 days. Plan to have phone time every morning from eight to nine or, or join your Alliance meeting and then first demos at 10. And then number four is manage your energy levels. Plan when you're gonna sleep, what time are you gonna go to bed, what time are you gonna wake up. Plan when you will exercise because that's what's gonna give you energy to keep going. Tomorrow is Sunday. Go grocery, go grocery shopping and buy yourself delicious, nutritious, healthy food to keep you going. This is not the time to be eating McDonald's every day because food equals energy and energy equals CPO and that's money in your pocket. So that sounds great and all, but how do you stay committed to a goal when, let's be real, five days later, you're gonna be super tired because you just finished your 15th appointment. How do you stay committed? One of my favorite quotes is, make what you do a product of your decisions and not a product of your feelings. Because guess what? You are not going to feel like pushing yourself every day. You're not going to feel like making phone calls, but get over it. You made the decision to have this goal. So don't let your present mood get in the way of creating your best future. Can you push through the, I don't feel like it? Successful people have the habit of doing things that they don't like to do. So learn to do the hard stuff now. One of the number one things that we learn in sales is to handle the objection before it comes up right? So do the same thing for yourself. So guys, I need your, 
your help one more time with a pen and paper. I want you to write down every obstacle that can come up during push, okay? Now, I don't know your life. I don't know what you're going through. So this is a you thing. Um, just some ideas. You don't have to worry about your car breaking down because we're doing virtuals now, but think about your life. What could potentially come up that would be an obstacle for you? I'll give you a minute to write these down. Maybe your computer won't work. Maybe you'll have bad internet. Shoot, that's happened to me many times. <laughs> Maybe you'll feel discouraged by one or two no sales. Maybe your family won't be supportive. Maybe you have this Zoom wedding or this event that's coming up that you know you'll have to be a part of. Write down every possible thing that can stop you from reaching your goal. And if there's anything you can do now to prevent these things, do it. By anticipating any potential obstacles when they do happen, which they inevitably will, you will be mentally prepared to handle them. So keep writing down those obstacles. I love to see people writing things down the best. Um, and so that leads us to mindset. So mindset, the best days come after the worst days. Here's the mentality that you guys need to have. You need to be mentally prepared with the fact that you're gonna have four okay days, four bad days, four really awesome, fantastic good days, and four wild card days. And that's just life. Be ready for it. Be here for it. Number three, guys, tell everyone. Tell your parents, tell your grandparents, tell your neighbors, let your family know that you're basically unavailable for the next 17 days. Let them know why you're working so hard. Share your whys with them. By telling people, it'll help you with your accountability. Also, for a little extra CPO, if you've been around for a few weeks, a month, or a few months, send an email to your past customers. Let them know that you're in the biggest okay. contest of your okay. life. Um, I personally, I did a sharpening for my customer in May. She bought stuff. Uh, like $500 worth of stuff. And then I emailed her about a sale in June, one month later, and she bought another $500 worth of stuff. So now she's on two, five pays. People will buy more. <laughs> so just don't be afraid. Number four, make a goal thermometer. I'm sure your manager has taught you this already, but nothing holds you more accountable than a giant thermometer placed right in front of your blue book. Everyone you talk to should know about your goal thermometer. Let them know that your goal is to see 30 people this push and you're writing down every single person's name on your goal thermometer who helps you out. And then take a picture of it, send it to your customers, get them involved, get them excited, help them to see your why. If they like you, they will buy from you just to help you out. And number five, find someone to crush. <laughs> There's nothing better than just some friendly competition. Find someone at your level who has the same goal as you who you can compete against. Lastly, focus on how you wanna feel after push. Just imagine it. Do you wanna feel accomplished? Do you wanna feel like you just gave it your all at the very least? Do you wanna feel like you just made a freaking huge paycheck? Like how amazing is that gonna be? My biggest push was $24,000. I worked freaking hard and it felt so good. That feeling when you win that trophy, when you see the fruits of your labor, nothing compares to that feeling. You've got this. It's all in the game plan. That's all I got.